I'm at the Reliance Oil Refinery in Jamnagar, India. This is the largest in the world, and I just had an amazing tour of this state-of-the-art facility. They pretty much do it all here. They make gasoline and diesel, jet fuel. They also make plastics and nylon and all kinds of things that we use in our lives. This plant employs tens of thousands of people and generates a lot of economic activity for the entire region. They're also committed to sustainable development here. You'll find a massive green space in the middle of this complex. I even got to try some of the mangoes that are grown right here. It's hard to believe that such a beautiful oasis is right here in the middle of an oil and gas facility. Now here's one thing you might not believe. Uh, they actually import some of their oil from Canada and then they refine it into the value added products that I mentioned. Now here's the really frustrating thing though. Uh, they do buy some of their oil from Canada, but because we don't have the pipelines needed to really open up markets in this area, it's not nearly as much as it could be. But what they do refine here, they then sell some of it back to Canada. So Canada has to buy at a higher price some of the oil and gas that's refined right here. So think about that. Ships will transport energy from Canada all the way across the ocean to be refined here in India, where the value-added jobs are and then travel back through the Suez Canal, back across the Atlantic Ocean into Eastern Canadian markets. That's why Conservatives were so frustrated that the Liberals killed Energy East, because instead of that process, Canada could have had a pipeline taking Western Canadian energy to Eastern refineries, creating those good jobs right here in Canada in a much more environmentally friendly way. That's why Canada's Conservatives are so committed to building the energy infrastructure that Canada needs to create jobs and opportunities for everyone and so that we stop selling at a huge discount our energy to the United States. In 2019, Canadians will have a choice and a Conservative government has the vision to make Canada self-sufficient on energy and sell more of our products around the world.